Ooh, you've got to put a stop to those buggers. See, they're all off the fucking Crete. They live on Crete. We've got to get Crete. Don't know how we're going to take it. It's a bit of a bit of a tricky one to get to. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's cancel our atomics program, and instead, paratroopers, mm, little Romanian paratroopers. We're never going to get a navy in time, lads. But parachutes are cheap, and planes are cheap too. So we're going to invade by the air. That'll show them. Yeah, we're Romania. Legionary Romania. We took over a huge chunk of Russia. Like, maybe a quarter of it is now ours. We got some pretty juicy, juicy new acquisitions. Lots of military factories and a shitload of resources. Let me give you an idea of how our resources went. We have 215 oil, which is amazing. We have extra aluminium. We got tungsten. We got steel for days. We got chromium like you would not believe. The only thing we're lacking is rubber. Rubber is our weakness. Let's get the Prince of Terror in there. Ah, our nuclear effort. Thank you, Kieran123. That is Bulgaria, yeah. United States, oh my god! Yeah, they're coming! Here come the Americans! Americanski! I hope you like freedom. They, I don't think they can get through here with their ships because of the fact that the strait is controlled. Um, and here too. So I'm pretty sure the Mediterranean is American free. I'm pretty sure. Um, I would love some Japanese navy. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There's the Japanese navy. And the Spanish navy just chilling in the med. Oh, that's big. That's big. That's good. So that's good. We shouldn't get invaded anytime soon. Or at least not from the south. These are the new troops in Bucharest. That's a pretty tasty. The fall of Cairo. Jubilant Italian soldiers entered Cairo today. That's great news. That is great news. Yeah, if they could wipe out all the, the British ports and, and air bases, that would be really big actually. That's a, that's a tasty little army right there. Still no generals. Oh, we can buy new ones! Sorry, gun to the furry. Finally! It's not like I've only played this game a little bit, relatively speaking. Oh, we're doing it. The Lebanon Free State has capitulated. That ain't good news. German Reich, Mexico!
Well, the thing with Italy is... Um... Yeah, obviously they were... You know, Hitler was like, Jesus Christ, these guys are useless. Um, but... Um... They had so little trouble in Europe. And I think the because Japan got into the war super quickly... Uh, I mean, Japan joined the war in, like, 1939. So all of a sudden, the Brits were like, holy shit. I mean, this this is the problem when you're playing as Britain, is you've got this fabulous empire at the start of the war. You've got tons of resources. You've got the whole of India. You've got a whole chunk of this area here. You've got large bits of Africa, including North Africa. You've got oil for days. You've got holdings all over the world. You have the biggest navy in the world, but you're just entering that era when big boats and small planes were at war, and the small planes won. So it's like, what do we do with these huge boats we've got? Well, we've got to have a navy. We're Britain, and we've got this huge empire to protect, and blah, blah, blah. So you have this vast navy. You do control the seas, but in the, time be in the meantime, your army and your air force are up against Germany, Italy, and all their allies, and you've got to try and defend so much with essentially not many troops. Like, you're not, you, we haven't had to fight since World War I. That was the last time we had to fight a war on land. Prior to that, you know, for a hundred whatever years, we'd been hoovering up all these shitty countries that had two guys with sticks uh, as their army, and the whole of Africa was in pretty much that same position. Uh, and India and everywhere else, really. So it was like, you know, we just need boats and a few dudes. And then all of a sudden the Germans turn up, and they're like, by the way, and Italy, we kind of want Africa. So it's like, oh. So it's really, you've got to de decide early on, do I try and hold everything, or do we just defend Britain, build a massive air force, and hope the Americans join the war? And that's generally the way I do it, is just turn Britain into a fortress island, anti-aircraft everywhere, seat forts everywhere, uh, try and fight in Africa. If you can get some light tanks in Africa, the Italian tanks are rubbish compared to yours, but I think they just, this war with Japan just fucking killed them. I mean, they, have, they had troops all over here. Um... Oh shit, look at this. So look, they're still having a fight. Look at this. So the British Raj, obviously, you know, they sent British troops out there. Japan's been fighting them for like two years. So that's eaten into their troops. It's tricky. Very tricky for the Brits. That's why we needed the Americans. Yeah, the Germans want to fight Guatemala. Please tell me they've actually invaded Mexico. That would be amazing. They're, they're planning it. These these lines are enemy attack plans. They're going to go for it. That's bold. Execute Plan Delta. The British Raj is a puppet state. That makes sense. But they, they always send troops to defend them. Like, you always see British troops. A ton of British troops over there. And the Britain has, like, not great manpower at the start of the war. And even if you try to mobilize, the point is, you're a democratic state, so you can't just take control of the entire thing until Germany war decks you, and then it's like, lads, we've got to fucking do this. But up until that point, I think it's really difficult. How's our little air force coming along? 302 planes. Not too shabby, lads. We're getting there. Send in the Rainbow Romanians. Alright, we don't need to be making any more dudes for a while. Whoa! No divisions of basic training. I'm happy with that. We've got an army now. I think we've got a big enough army for what we want to do.
I think Greece just quit. Guatemala has joined the Allies. Big news. Good job, boys. Oh my god, what is this? This is a South African invasion. These are Mex yeah, South Africans trying to trying to invade. Yes! Gotcha, Greece! Oh, Hong Kong. They've still got Crete. This is the problem. This is why we need them parry troopers. Jesus Christ, the Greek Navy, the, this, this Crete has got to go, man. United Kingdom is justifying against us. I thought we were already at war. You've been fighting us for fucking weeks. Years, actually. There's a good few troops wiped out. Not too shabby. You lads are going to garrison this area. Bad. Uh, 
the Dutch Reich has quit. What? Oh, okay. Still haven't got any troops in our holdings in Brabant, but I figured the Nazis will hold that down for us. Holy shit, look at this! Woohoo! We're kind of a big deal. Germany is going for South America. I'm intrigued. Got to friggin' get this piece of shit down here. We need an air force. What is this? Sandstorms? Holy crap. I, I'm hoping Italy goes after Crete. I wish you could set it as like... Dear Greet, dear Italy, please would you sort this out for us? Lacking rubber. So we're group, we're recovering, our troops are. Getting all kind of souped up. This is good. And we're going to plan for our power drop invasion. So how about that? Not bad. Yeah, we can't get there. God damn, how are we going to get Crete? I really thought the Germans would have realised that Crete is kind of a big deal. Look at this huge stack of Vichy French troops. They friggin' love Corsica. No one's bothered to take Sardinia yet. Africa's almost... I think maybe the... Swedish troops in Africa. No fuel. So the Italians are still desperately fighting the Brits. They lost Cairo. No, that's Alexandria. Of course it is. What's Germany up to? Is Germany Has Germany invaded? No, they're going to soon. Here go the Japanese. Invading. <laughs> they're going for it. <laughs> They're going for it, lads. They're going for Mexico. God bless those crazy guys. Rockets. Right, how's our air force coming along? Alright, guys. I don't know if we've got enough to do this. But fuck it. Kamikaze strikes? Let's just intercept, eh? Let's hit their navy if we can. These are all the military factories we're building. Can we make naval fighters yet? No, we need to research that.
Do we have any ships? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, do it, lads! I trust the Romanian Navy. Oh, we're shooting them. We're taking out the Greek Navy. Go on, lads. Thank you, the dude abides. Right, y'all. I'm sorry to do this to you, but it's football time. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, Romania, 1942. It's still only 1942. Holy shit. So that's the stream for today. It's football, football, football o'clock. Um, for the next, like, eight hours or whatever. So I won't be streaming this evening. Unless, let me, if the game finishes, what, about 9.45, 10 o'clock? Maybe I'll come back and stream for a little bit more. But um, I really, really want to watch the European Championship. I love it. So I will see you guys either later this evening or tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. I love me some Hearts of Iron 4. And as a long-term plan, once both my kids are at school in September, between, like, 9.15 and 3.00, Every day, I'll be able to stream uh, and stuff. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of that and uh, uploading more videos and stuff like that. Uh, like, I think what we've done so far, I could, like, you know, I could upload that. Definitely, it would be worth doing. Um, and I think it's been kind of entertaining. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed it. I fucking love this game. I didn't realize that playing as, like, a smaller nation would be as much fun. But it really is, actually. Because you feel great about every, yeah, we got hungry, you know, or whatever. It's, like, it's fun. It's good. Um, and I like this, the, the having sort of not sure how your units are going to do, and you know every all the decisions you make are much more. Hmm, now, what kind of you know do I go for this or do I go for that? And it really matters because you you haven't got the resources to cope. Our navy's getting absolutely fucked up, by the way, by the Brits. Arthur Power, look at him smiling. British scum, you democratic bastard. Join fascism, you scum. We'll take him out. Don't you worry about it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.